for undetermined coefficients, finding a particular integral using method of undetermined coefficients. So when you say undetermined coefficients, um, it appears to be based on little more than casework, but it can easily be formalized into a well-defined procedure application to a well-defined and very important class of cases. It does not apply to a large class of non-homogeneous terms, as does the method of variation of parameters, and it has the advantage of involving differentiation rather than integration, and is therefore the one shall use whenever possible. So, for example, we have a um, quantity of d plus 1 squared plus 9 times y equals e to the x sine 3x. So from the left side in here, we must expand it and then combine like terms. So we have now uh, d squared plus 2d plus 10 times y equals e to the x sine 3x. And then from this given equation, from this equation, um, it may be written as y double prime plus 2y prime plus 10y plus e to the x sine 3x. For getting a particular integral, its particular integral, uh, we must focus on the g of x in here. So our g of x here is e to the x sine 3x. So we come up its um, particular integral is um, sine 3x its particular integral is equivalent to a sine 3x plus b cosine 3x and then our uh, particular integral now as a whole from this g of x in here is yp is equal to e to the x times a sine plus v cosine 3x. So, we are not sure that our guess is true. So, we, th so we think that we should undergo um, proving. So, through proving, um, we must find its uh, y prime and double prime. So, for getting its y prime, we have y prime so we to e to the x times minus 3a sine 3x plus 3b cosine 3x plus a cosine 3x plus b sine 3x times e to the x. And then, forgetting its double prime, <laughs> We have double prime is equivalent to e to the x times negative 9a cosine 3x minus 9b sine 3x plus e to the x times negative a sine 3x plus 3b cosine 3x plus e to the x times minus 3a sine 3x plus 3b cosine 3x plus e to the x times a cosine 3x plus b sine 3x. So, we must combine like terms. So, y double prime have a negative a e to the x times a cosine 3x plus b sine 3x plus e to the x sine 3x plus b cosine 
3x. So from the value of a y prime and the double prime, you must, sub -sub you must substitute it to its uh, original uh, equation. So now, the log becomes negative 8 e to the x times a cosine 3x plus b sine 3x plus 6 e to the x times negative a sine 3x plus b cosine 3x plus 2 times e to the x times negative 3a sine 3x plus 3b cosine 3x plus e to the x times a cosine 3x plus b sine 3x plus 10 e to the x times a sine 3x plus b cosine 3x equals e to the x sine 3x so we must combine like terms so now it will now becomes 4 e to the x times a cosine 3x plus b sine 3x plus 12 e to the x times negative a sine 3x plus b cosine 3x equal to e to the x sine 3x and then factor out the e to the x cosine 3x and then e to the x sine 3x so it will now become the x cosine 3x times 4a plus 12b plus e to the x sine 3x times 4b minus 12a plus e to the x times sine 3x. So from this given equation, with these illustrations, it is satisfies two independent conditions. So it is clear that it is well arranged and to incorporate two arbitrary constants, which are the value of A and B. So our guess is true. So our uh, particular integral is yp is equal to